Now, a lot of people have migrated to one-shot color cameras, and one of the excuses that they often have, uh, even though a one-shot color camera really is inferior in a lot of ways, is that they worry about clouds coming through and maybe ruining some of the subs for one particular channel that they're photographing that night. Uh, let's say one out of three channels being red, green, blue, uh, clouds come through and ruin all of your blue subs and you're left without any blue color to, to process in your image. Well, thanks to the Miracle software and the ZWO ASI Air Pro, we can minimize this significantly and really diversify our portfolio, so to speak, in such that this is not really an issue at all. Now this group by slot feature, when you turn it off, right, what it does is it has the ASI Air Pro go through a sequence in which it will take one picture with one filter and then it will rotate the filter to the next slot and then it will focus automatically, okay, if you have an autofocuser, and then it'll take the next picture, and then it'll go on to the next filter, and then the next filter, and it'll go through that sequence continuously throughout the night and give you a completely diversified color portfolio. So all of your channels will be an even amount of exposure. Now, this is a great feature if you have spotty weather coming through. I personally don't use it very often, and that's be if I have a really good weather forecast, okay? Now, what I often do is I actually just make a sequence in which, let's say, I'll group them by maybe pictures of five. I'll take five sulfur pictures, and then I'll take five hydrogen filters, and then I'll switch back to sulfur again, and then I'll switch back to hydrogen again, and do it in groups of five. And the reason why I do it in larger groups is because the autofocus time that you know is required to basically focus for each filter, it takes up a significant amount of time. Now, if you're doing longer exposures, this may not be as big a deal. If you're doing five minute, 10 minute, even 20 minute exposures, uh, this may not even factor in for you at all because you know the one and a half minutes that it takes to autofocus isn't as big a deal as the 20 minute exposure that you're taking. However, if you're doing color data, and usually color data RGB is much shorter exposures, well, in that case, you're probably going to be taking shorter exposures, and you don't want to take a minute and a half to focus for every single two-minute exposure that you're doing. Uh, what that's going to do is basically almost double the amount of time it takes to get data. And I experienced this firsthand. I set up a sequence which was going to take about 120 pictures, and when I woke up the next morning, the ASI Air had only taken about 40 of the shots, and that's because <laughs> it takes so much time to focus between each slot. So if you're taking shorter exposures, stuff that's under five minutes, you're probably gonna want to maybe create your own uh, shooting schedule. And what I typically do is I'll set, set up groups of five. So I'll take five red, and then I'll take five green, and then I'll take five blue, and then I'll switch back and dick five more red, and then five more green, and five more blue. So that way, it's only focusing every five pictures. And what this will do is it'll make your sequence a little bit more efficient and allow you to get more data in each night. All right, for this tutorial, I've turned off the actual autofocuser and the filter wheel just so that you can see the progression. So let's say we've got three different slots here of different types of light frames that we were gonna take. And we're gonna turn off the group by slot and then go back here. And we're basically gonna start our sequence, okay? So we can ignore the cooling since we don't really need it. And it's gonna start taking all these pictures. And these are really short exposures so you'll be able to see the progression here. But in here, as you can see, it's taking a picture and it's moving on to the next slot. It's taking the next picture and it's gonna move on to the next slot and take the next picture. And it'll go through the cycle throughout the night. And like I said earlier, if your system has to focus between each picture, that's going to add up to quite a bit amount of time. You know, figure in one and a half to two minutes each time your camera has to focus. Now you can tighten that up a little bit by adjusting for backlash and so forth. But really, uh, this is a process that I like to do to basically kind of do sort of the same thing, but we're gonna group it by larger uh, slots. So the, oh, we gotta stop the capture first. All right, pause the auto run. I'm gonna go back here and we're gonna turn on, well, after we reset here, we're gonna turn on reset or group by slot. And then let's actually like make this, let's say we make this five pictures. And we're gonna go on here, we're gonna make this one here, 
five pictures as well. And then this one here is going to be another five pictures. And then we're going to add another slot here, okay? And let's say, let's say this first column here, these are all of our reds. Make it another one. Make another one. And we can just keep on going here. Just groups of five. So let's say like this first column, these are all my reds, and then this are all my blues, and then these are all my greens. And it's gonna take five pictures of red, autofocus, switch the filter, or switch the filter to autofocus, and then it'll go on, and it'll take another five pictures of, let's say, blue, and it'll autofocus after it switches the filter again, and it'll take another five pictures of the next color, and so forth. And this will kind of minimize the amount of time that your system has to spend focusing throughout the night. And it will diversify your portfolio, so to speak, so that if clouds roll in, you don't ruin an entire image by losing one of your color channels.